Hi guys, welcome and I will be teaching you how to do the GCF, also known as the greatest common factor, and LCM, also known as the lowest common multiple. So let's get into it. So first, we're gonna do least common multiple, and uh, let's just do uh, six and eight. So I'll do six times one, six times two, times three, four, six times five, six times six, six times seven, six times eight, and then I'll do eight times one, eight times two, eight times three, eight times four, eight, times five and eight times six. So now we're gonna solve for it. Six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. Six times four is 24. Six times five is 30. Six times six is 36. Six times seven is 42 and six times eight is 48. Now we're gonna do the eights. Six times one is eight. Six times two is 16. Eight times three is 24. Eight times, times four is 30, 32. Eight times five is 40, and eight times six is 48. So now, how to find the least common multiple is if they're both the same number, the, the lowest one would be it. So the lowest one on this, on this one would be 24. So your least common multiple is 24. Now we will do the, the GCF, also known as the greatest common factor. So we're gonna do 36 and 48. So to find the greatest common factor, first you have to see uh, what, could what could it both multiply. So if you try like six times, Six times six, that equals, that equals 36, but could, but you could also, uh, but also six times eight equals 48. But we're trying to look for the greatest common factor, not the lowest common factor. So to get the greatest common factor, you have to see which one's the highest six could be one but that would be the, that would be an lcm the lowest common factor so the greatest common factor of 36 and 48 so let's just tr let's try 12. 12 times 3 is 36 and 12 times 4 is 48. So your greatest, your greatest common factor of that would be 12.